Yeah, man. That sucker's nice, baby. That's nice. And it's not as quick as that, but it's as fast as that. Really? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I shall return. Enjoy. Thank you, sir. Nobody puts their bike in neutral anymore. Fat boy. Cue the fat boy footage. Oh, it's got floorboards. I like that. Is this the 114? Yeah, baby. Look at that big old face up there, man. Look at that big old head up there on the front of this bike. That is like a pit bull. <laughs> That's like a pit bull. I feel like I'm on a pit bull. I definitely feel the fatness of this bike, if you know what I mean. I feel the fatness. I'll try to wipe this off. I hope that it's not got water on the lens. I'm going to try to wipe that lens off occasionally so that it's not obstructed with a water droplet the whole time. That would be awesome. Not. Okay, let's go. That guy said, this is the 114 Fat Bob. That guy said it's not as quick as the FXDR, but it's just as fast. So I guess that kind of makes sense. If you want to say, what is quickness? Quickness would be like a combination of mobility, nimbleness, you know, the maneuverability plus power. Oh yeah, this has got the torque plus the power. Whereas this one would maybe be a little more heavy uh, probably not much though uh, a little more heavy uh, not quite as maneuverable this one's got 358 miles on it it's got a analog speedometer uh, trip meters clocks flashing hasn't been set rpms there it was okay well the stock configuration here Again, this is not a review. I'm not reviewing these motorcycles. I'm simply giving a point of view from my personal experience. Uh, and this is for my own personal enjoyment. And if you get something out of it, awesome. Join me in the quest for a near life experience. So far, I like this a lot. It's got the floorboards on it, uh, which is, I've you know, I've kind of gotten used to that. It's got, uh, what would you call this? Not forward controls, uh, but not quite mid controls. I don't know. This is, I like it. I like it a lot for once on a motorcycle. And I'm talking about my street glide and everything. The stock configuration puts my foot exactly on the board the way I feel like it should be. The shifter is just the way it needs to be. The brake pedal is a uh, touring bike style brake. I like that. And there's a truck behind me probably going, what is this guy doing? Doesn't he know it's raining? It's only sprinkling right now, buddy. You should have seen it this morning. But uh, if I had this personally, of course, I like to raise the handlebars up. Uh, I think it looks better. Uh, I think it, for me personally, handles better. You, this may be better for a beginner. Uh, I don't know. But so far, it feels good. The seat's nice. It's a little stiff. Maybe street bobbish. Uh, maybe a little more comfortable than the street bob. Uh, bigger lip in the back, definitely, on the seat, but flat and stiff. Uh, bigger lip than even the FXDR. 
you're not going anywhere on this one i like the way this bike looks though man and i've never been a fat boy fan i don't think of a fat boy when i think of harley davidson motorcycle when i think of a harley davidson motorcycle i think of the two bikes that i have i think of a street glide i think of a street bob i think of a sportster um what else uh ultra classic i don't think of this when i think of harley davidson however when i see a bike like this i know who they're trying to imitate and that's the fat bob uh, fat boy have i been calling this thing fat bob if i have i apologize i think i'm just getting it mixed up because i just said street bob anyways i'm so excited to be riding this right now this truck needs to totally get off my butt man i don't like it feels like i'm being pushed i think chuck jines uh, which is awesome i i love not having a bunch of traffic and uh, people riding my ass and touched on that anyways it feels great uh it tracks straight you let go of the handlebars it wants to drive itself basically um of course all i can see right now is look at this tank this is beautiful man this is a cool motorcycle it's definitely beautiful i like the fat design and once again i i haven't uh, if something that i wanted were behind the door i have yet to open that door i have only unlatched the door and peeked through because i've yet to find out what this motor's got of course we both we all know now if you've watched the fxdr review of mine a review i say here uh, the ride that i had on the fxdr it's rather um, peppy so we kind of have an idea how what this one's gonna do so i'm not in a big hurry to go cranking back on the old throttle lever here this one is more for the uh the enjoyment uh to say i've this is the first time i've ever been on a fat boy in fact, fat boy rolling off of my lips is strange in and of itself. Not because I'm opposed to it, just because I've literally never had the opportunity until now. And how cool is this? I like it because my feet, boy, that is low to the ground, buddy. You want to talk about some stability? You got it on this one you got it look at that that sucker's pretty boy look at that paint job so it looks like that lip that i was feeling from that seat is a pillion seat that looks like it's probably removable which is even more awesome because that opens up this huge fat a fender now i don't know that looks just like clear protective tape underneath there I need some of that for my street bob. Look at that beauty, man. That is absolutely gorgeous. Look at that bad boy. I'm gonna take a little shot kind of like this right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what? Get you some of that 114, baby. I love the, poly or the uh, brushed aluminum uh, cylinder head covers and pipes and wheels man that is just freaking cool dude and it's got the bullet style lights in the back like the bob which i'm digging totally digging it let's go baby let's get it got controls like my street glide controls feel a lot like my street glide controls which is good because that is What's the word I'm looking for? Premium. It's a premium feel. Maybe I should have just said that right off the bat. I didn't even know what I wanted to say. Premium feeling controls. Uh, as usual, I would always, on any of these bikes, change the grips out. But this would look sick with this, like some brushed aluminum control covers here. Look at that guy. He's jealous because he's not riding the fat boy right now. 
and this would be a sick place to put my GoPro Hero session. Be looking straight into my eyes. See, I'm not going to be able to get on this one because there's a stupid Walmart truck in front of me. We are in Arkansas. But, we, like I said, whoa, it's Torquey. It's cool, it's cool. We know what's up. We know what's up with the fat boy. It's grunty, just like the FXDR is. It grunts. That's one thing I've noticed about the newer bikes. They may be more powerful, see that? I, that was nothing. I didn't even hardly really crank back on that thing. Oh my gosh, wind buffeting. Wind buffeting! Oh my gosh, horrible! That's one thing I've noticed about the newer bikes though. Any of the newer bikes, even the Heritage, the ride of the year, or the ride of the day last year. Even that Heritage was, you could feel it, man. You could feel the engine. I guess it's got maybe something to do with the way it's mounted to the frame. And I'm not, I don't know, man. I don't know how to really explain it. Like my Street Bob, and my street glide i don't know if this even makes any sense maybe it's because i've got apes and it's not such a direct connection with the forks and the clamps uh maybe there's more give like a more of a a reverb uh, but on this it's kind of like a direct link and you can feel the engine the rpm changes you wouldn't need to hear this bike to know where the rpm range is if that helps any this is one of the best days of my life this is one of the best days of my life please still be recording I'm hoping oh yeah, baby. slow down for the corner slow down for the corner I literally oh my gosh that little thing in your head that tells you to be careful and slow down and don't run with scissors and don't stand too close to the edge and put shoes on before you go outside because there might be stickers that thing in me shut down just now He's back, obviously, it's back. But if you want to, go rewind that, and it's gone. For just a minute, it's gone. That was a lot of fun. And I'm totally riding a fat boy right now. I asked the guy up here, uh, I said, I wanna ride the fat boy. He's like, yeah. And uh, he said something about, uh, or no, I don't even remember how the conversation went going. But he, I, I told him, I said, the, I'm going to ride the fat boy, like Arnold Schwarzenegger. I said, you got a fake shotgun or something I can put, you know, on the side? And he kind of looked like, looked at me weird. I don't think he heard me say fake. I think all he heard was shotgun, and he kind of looked at me funny, and I was like, oh, no, 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 no. You know, like Arnold in Terminator 2, and he's like, yeah, yeah, you gonna jump it too? Come on, somebody do something. I mean, there is a cop right there. Am I talking loud? Come on, car. Thank you. Appreciate ya. Let's see how torquey this is pretty torquey pretty torquey pretty torquey look this guy wants to race oh it's a girl the University of Arkansas on a fat boy in September that is so cool he's on my FXDR mine like I own it <laughs> Thank you guys for coming along for the ride on the Fat Boy. Thank you for listening to my ramblings. Thank you for joining me on our quest for a uh, near life experience. Thank you.
thank you thank you if you like this content and you want to see some more please give it a thumbs up make sure you uh hit the little bell thing you know that's what notifies you and tells you that i've uploaded a new video instead of it needing to be recommended or whatever but you know how it works give me a good old subscribe let's get them let's get that up there and here's a dude thank you guys for joining me we'll see you Awesome. <laughs> oh, uh, what you think of that? Oh man, I love it. I like the way this thing looks more than anything. Yeah, that's a classic look, and they've updated it. Like when they first came out, nine years something, they had the uh, solid wheels like that, but now they're even wider, and they got that scallops on it. Yeah, I really yeah. like. It. Yeah, it's pretty. I like the brushed, the yeah, brushed, the, like satin. Look. Yeah, the satin color. Yeah, you said it better than I did. <laughs> All right, buddy. All right, man. Thanks, man. Have fun. Right enough. Yeah. What a beautiful machine. What a beautiful machine. Hey, what's up, Sean Smoke? That's freaking cool. That's freaking cool. There's the deluxe.